Hi guys, in this video we are going to talk about Sigma 4D Deformers. My name is Kobe and this is Pixel Affair. So Deformers, just like its name suggests, basically deforms objects in Cinema 4D including primitives, spline, polygon and generators. To, and to create a deformer, you come to create Deformers. And right away you can see we have a lot of them here. Same way, we have a deformer menu here. So you can click on this blue icon here, click and hold it. You can see it shows us all the deformers we have in Cinema 4D. So you can click on any of them, either the bulge or the bend. Just and now you have in your object menu, you can see there is a bend deformer in here. And in the viewport too, you can see this box here, which shows you your deformer. And how does deformers work? They work as a child of object that they deform. So if you've watched the previous tutorial on uh, parenting and hierarchy system in Cinema 4D, you understand like what I mean by child and parent and all those stuff. So to make a deformer function, I'll create, for instance, let me use the figure object and I'll drag and drop the def bend deformer and make it a child of the figure object. And now straight away, if I select the bend, uh, bend deformer, come to it, um, attribute manager and go to its strength and see straight away it's bending the figure object so straight away it's working on the figure object same way if I click and hold it again for instance I'll say let me choose um, a twist deformer drag it and drop it under the figure object as well and now let's and disable the bend deformer and see what the figure of uh, twist of uh, deformer also does. So, see now it's twisting the figure object. Also, several deformers can work on one object at a time, and one deformer can work on several objects at a time as well. So, for instance, let me create a cube and increase its segment to get enough point because deformers basically deforms objects by manipulating or moving its point. So let me make it 8 by 8 by 8 and I'll move uh, both the bend and twist from the figure to the um, cube now I can delete the figure object and now if I should enable the bend object and increase it and see it's deforming it can allow the y axis to move and now if I should twist it see it's twisting it so and the the arrangement of it is very very important so at this point it's being bent before tw being twisted but if I, sh I, if I should move the twist up now it's being twisted before it's being bent so its arrangement is very very important depending on what you want to achieve so now if I increase the twist see it twists smooth but at the same time it's being bent so you can pile up with a lot of um, deformers to get whatever you want so I can actually come in again and let's say add a taper deformer maybe I'll make sure the first thing is it will taper it first so taper is basically um, making it smaller at a point whilst it, it grows so I increase the strength of the taper and you see it makes it pointy at the top here now it's being twisted so let's see what the taper is doing it's making it you know pointy at the top then after that the twist deformer happens Then after that the bend deformer so i'll increase the bend again yeah and now increase the taper again can even make it more pointy so basically that's what um deformer does and this how it works in this scenario i have um, a word here which says bendy it's actually made up of several or individual letters so b e n d and y and we can actually use one deformer to affect them at a time so i'll go in here and see i'll use the bend deformer and drag and drop it into its um, hierarchy system so you can see the null object is which is called bendy is the parent and we have the b e n d y as children and to make the bend deformer affect them all, it should be in the same level with the um, children. So the, it's the same level with the B and D. At the same, it shouldn't be a, a child of any of them. It should be a sibling in this situation. So now 
it's a sibling with the rest of the letters and if i should bend it you can see it starts affecting them together as one so i can actually come in here rotate it 90 degrees on the x and adjust its size here so come come in move it a bit up let me move orbit around it and adjust its sizes here so we, we think you get what you wanted and now can actually come in here properly and start bending it and you can see it begins to bend the way we want so one deformer can work on several objects at a time in several ways and you can still go ahead and add more deformers so in here i can actually come in again and come and add let's see the shear deformer and drag and drop it and the shear that one too will function the same i can actually come in again i'll move the shear a bit up I can come in again make sure the bending is select, uh, selected and in this case there is a way that you can actually apply deformers with one click let me say so i'll come in here i'll make sure the object i want the deformer to be a child is selected i'll come in here and i'll come and say um i'll choose bulge and i'll hold shift and if i hold shift and i click on the bulge automatically it becomes a child of the object i've selected so in this case, it was the bendy that I've selected. So instantly it becomes a child and now I don't have to drag and drop it. And now the ball tool begins to function, can actually place it well as well. So several like deformers tool can work with several objects at a time. And if, for instance, let me actually hide this and do the one click thing again. So if I had this cube selected, right? And I go uh, make sure that it's selected, come into the deformers, and choose any of the deformer in this case i'll choose taper and hold shift automatically it will become a child of the uh, cube and fit to the size of the cube so because let me do it one time and now you can see straight away it's a child of the cube and now the taper fits to the size of the cube because it's a straight child of the cube in this case the object it's affecting our siblings and you know it doesn't know the real dimensions of the bend and everything it's actually thinking of the null object so it didn't take the shape of the bend uh, the bendy text but in this case directly the child of the cube and it knows the dimension of the cube so straight away it fits to the shape uh, and size of the cube and you can straight away start working with it so you can come in here and now you can see it's tapering yeah, so basically that's how deformers operate so in my next video i'm actually going to talk about each deformer and what it does and how it works so see you in next video thanks for watching